yeah, we have top secret here, and then we also have some images. So, want to show the video while I grab them? Yeah. So okay. I'm going to show this. We we filmed this briefly, and it was it's just 45 seconds of. This is a miniature version of Desk of Lady Ada. The reason, one of the reasons we haven't been able to do Desk of Lady Ada is because there was a giant flood thing, and we don't really live in a normal apartment now. It's um, it's kind of a disaster area that humans shouldn't live in. So we can't really like pieces of ceiling fall down. It'll be fixed eventually. Um, that's uh, apartment life in New York sometimes. So uh, that's why there's this one little area where we can kind of still do some things. Anyways, here's the here's the video. What is this? Hey, it's an e-ink party all up in here on April 1st. I got all these e-ink displays from the tiniest little flexible one, all the way to this massive 4.2 inch one. And I'm getting the code working on my Itsy Bitsy M4 uh, using Blinka, using CircuitPython. This weekend I wrote up drivers for all these chipsets and also tested out this e-ink shield, which you can see right here. It's got buttons, a tricolor display. Right now it's actually getting quotes from uh, Adafruit.com using the new Wi-Fi enabled Metro M4 airlift. So it's just all e-ink all the time here. Mm -hmm. All Blinka. So cute. Okay, so you have you have all of these out here. All right, yeah, I thought I could, I could show them off. Okay. So we got the, the cool flexible yeah. um, e-ink display. So those are good. So this is yep. a large flexi. So you could like make a, you know, a bracelet or something. That's right. And I got some uh, 2.9 inch displays and then 2.7 and then that monochrome high res one. And then I didn't bring the 4.2 inch. I forgot it because it's just so big. But yeah. we got the 4.2 inch. And then this and is. Then what do you got there? Oh, it's updating right now. So this is the e-ink shield. So you can see how long the tricolor displays take to update. It says, what I cannot create, I do not understand by Richard Feynman. So this is the e-ink shield. Um, so it's a 2.7 inch display with, you get five buttons and the buttons don't do anything on this demo. Um, this is getting quotes from our online quote server. And this is the prototype of the Metro um, M4 airlift. So it's a Metro M4, 7051, it has a crypto chip if you'd like and uh, ESP32 uh, Wi-Fi coprocessor for uh, connecting the internet. So it works with CircuitPython or Arduino just like the Pi Portal does, exact same code base. So I can reset that. And then I've got the um, Airlift PCBs. So this is the ESP coprocessor and I got that cute gold box. The, the lift is in a reverse mask so it's got that gold yeah. shine through. So here is the PCBs of the e-ink. That's the ink shield. Yeah, that's done. Yeah. And then here's the feather airlift. The feather airlift. So it'll be a little ESP coprocessor. Yeah. And then we showed these last week. These are um, the Metro M4 airlift and airlift light. Yeah. And uh, here's some bigger versions. So that's the nice silkscreen version of what yeah. I just showed. And but like, look good looking. <laughs> we added this to circuitpython.org slash downloads um, because it has a spot for it and it's Pretty easy to figure out what we're working on. So this is the Pi badge, and uh, these are some. It does exactly what you think. It's, yeah. it's a Pi badge. It's a badge, and it's a, it's a gaming thing. Pie. Okay, that is uh, top secret. Okay. Whew. That's very secretive. Okay. Yeah.